Danielle. Firstly, I'm really sorry about your friend. The fact that you carried on this week was remarkable. Should we make this brief? Okay. As far as fronting up, well done you. As far as what the directors thought, I'm not altogether certain that you want to hear their feedback. They said that you didn't take the process seriously. Let's look at your photo and your poster. It's my favourite shot. And I'm not saying that because I feel sorry for you. You just are naturally photogenic. It's not a point that you have to prove, it's just a fact. I agree, your shot's fantastic. I think you just need to think about the impression that you're giving. Thanks, Danny. Lauren. How was your week? It was really good. I enjoyed the Herbal Essences Challenge a lot and meeting Dan Carter. Let's look at your photo and your poster. What I really enjoyed was that I was seeing these emotions that you were giving us, like anger, smiling and frowning, and I think you've kind of found the strength out of having your hair cut. It was great. You've got great legs and they just look like they go forever and ever. Great work them always. Congratulations. Thank you so much. Nelly. Should we look at your photo and your poster? Duncan said that you were nice to work with and that you concentrated, but you never hit your stride. You never brought your personality through to the shoot. And you can see from the picture, it doesn't feel like a statement. How do you feel your week went? I think it was okay. Some parts of it were okay, some not so great. Okay, I think that's fair. Thank you. Michaela. Hi. Let's look at your photo and your poster. You are unselfconscious, which is really important for something like this. And you were so professional, and I think you did a great job. Duncan Cole said, quick and easy, lots of interesting variation of performance. It was hard to narrow it down to a single choice. Awesome, that's really good. That's great feedback. Thanks a lot, Thank you. Amelia. How do you think you went with Herbal Essences? I came across one guy who made a racist comment. I'm a Chinese artist. And that got to me. I'd like to give you some advice. You should quickly decide whose comments are going to upset you and whose comments you don't care about. Let's look at your photo and your poster. I don't like your stance and I think you just need to relax a bit. You kind of got a bit self-conscious, didn't you, up there? You'd stop yourself really expressing yourself. Thanks, Mia. Thank you. Elsa. So let's look at your photo and your poster. Both Duncan and Neil were saying that they've, they've hardly seen this before because what you did is you, you explored your personality and you came out with this unique pose, which was Elsa's pose. I love that shot too. It's fantastic. Well done. Thanks, Elsa. Thank you so much. Courtney. How do you think your week went? The smoke-free um, photo shoot was really fun. Should we look at your photo and your poster? I thought you were a little bit flat, actually. The one thing I don't think you've mastered yet is the bang-on perfect angle for your face to camera. The feedback that I got from Duncan said that you had a great level of professionalism and you were easy to direct, which I think is fantastic. OK. Thanks a lot, Courtney. Lara. Should we have a look at your photo and your poster? Yes, please. One thing that you really nailed is you understood the need for expression. In real life, I think you need to stand like that not like you are now. Duncan said, nice personality, fun to shoot. One of our favourite shots of the day. Well done, Lara. That was a pretty good week. Thank you. Dakota, how was your week? The Herbal Essence ad could have been a bit better. Jeez, woman, your hair looks like a cat's ass. Something that's becoming pretty clear, you don't always approach things in the most appropriate fashion. If they're going to make tobacco illegal, can they at least give us, like, THC? You're not always appropriate. Do you understand what we mean by that? Absolutely, sorry. It's my inappropriateness. I try to portray confidence at all times. Sometimes you need to tone it down. We want you to learn. We want to make you a better model. Okay. Let's see how your photo and your poster looks. It's a really strong pose. It makes a fantastic poster, but you kind of ruined the day with what you said. You've got two options at this point. You walk away from this evaluation with your head hanging, or you walk away from this and you say, I got a great shot. I've just got to keep my trap shut and engage my brain. OK? Thank Thanks, you. Dakota. Girls, you've given us plenty to think about. 
We're going to deliberate now. Thank you. Eleven girls. We're only taking ten back to the model house. Let's start with Holly. I do like the top of what she's giving us in the picture. Well, I was wondering, is she slightly a promo girl? Colin, I think you're onto something. Is that promo, not model? Elsa. That is a fantastic shot. I love the way the hand is silhouetted against the black. Yeah, and it's strong and graphic. And let's face facts. People look up to models. Models will save the world. <laughs> <laughs> Eva. I hate that photo. Yeah, it's not a good photo at all. She was kind of struggling and grappling with this idea that her dad smokes and it was upsetting her and I think that really got in the way of a real performance from her. The more I look at that shot and the closer I look at it, the more I'm warming to the concept. Danielle, what a horror story week. What a magnificent photo. She had a bad week. I've had models not show up on jobs for way lesser reasons. Lauren. This day, she brought new emotional stuff, and it was great to see that she had that in it. I really rate Lauren. I would love to put clothes on her. She looks like a model. Lara. There's a range there, and I was happy that she delivered it. Just a great stance. It's really elegant. It's a good photo. Courtney. I still think she hasn't quite managed to morph herself into the look she now has. The hair's great, so she's really got to get on board with it. Nellie. The whole attitude is 50-50. It's very unconvincing, isn't it? It's not coming through on film for me. There's nothing there. Michaela. I thought she looked more beautiful in reality here today than she does in the photo. For what she's doing with her pose, it kind of fits. She's done well. It was a good week for her. Amelia. She kind of got very self-conscious when she was being photographed. So she came out of it with an average photo. I stood there when Dan Carter came in and thought, great, this is going to go really well. I was actually quite excited for how Amelia was going to handle it. Bungled it. Bungled it big time. Disappointing. Dakota. Did an awful interview and just said all the wrong things. She's just one big contradiction. You're absolutely right. She is so up and so down. I just don't know which Dakota we're going to get on any given day. Someone's going home. We know who it is. Hi girls. Hi. It's that time again. 11 girls, 10 photos, and we're looking for New Zealand's next top model. I suspect the reality of that is starting to sink in. The first name I'm going to call is Michaela. Thank you so much. <laughs> Congratulations. Lauren. Congratulations, Lauren. Thank you. You're blossoming. Thank you so much. Elsa. Elsa, it's a great photo. Awesome. Thanks. The next name I'm going to call is Danielle. Congratulations, Danielle. Yes. You're still in the running towards becoming New Zealand's next top model. You had a good week. Going back to the model house tonight is Lara. Congratulations. Thanks. Five girls safe, six girls in front of me, and five photos in my hand. The next name I'm going to call is Eva. Can I say something as well? I didn't mean to make my dad sound like a really bad role model because he smokes and he's actually a great dad and I love him. Do you know what? My dad was a heavy smoker. He was yep. an amazing role model too. Thank you. Don't make me cry. <laughs> the next name I'm going to call is Courtney. I was freaking out for a moment there. <laughs> Thought you did pretty well. Oh, cool, thank you. Maybe you should have a bit more faith in yourself. Thanks. The next name I'm going to call is Holly.
It's not a bad photo. Cool. Thank you so much. Three girls left. Two photos in my hand. Going back to the model house tonight is Dakota. Please don't give me another chance to send you home. Okay. Thank you so much. Think before you speak. Okay. Nellie, Amelia, please come forward. Nellie? Yes. Last week you had that beautiful photo from Fiona Quinn. This week your photo left me cold. Amelia, I expected you to blow me away this week. Mm -hmm. Your shot was okay, but it certainly wasn't great. Still in the running, towards becoming New Zealand's next top model and going back to the model house tonight is Nellie. Congratulations, Nellie. Thank you. Amelia, I had such high hopes for you. But I think you had a bad week at work. Mm -hmm. Go say goodbye. Can you not? Stop it. <laughs> Ouch. You'll be alright. Chase the dream, not the competition. I was telling the girls before elimination that I thought I'd go home because I haven't improved over the weeks. <laughs> My photos have always been like, okay, they've never been amazing. I have learnt that photo shoots are not as easy as they look. You need to know everything about how to angle your face to how you pose in different positions. You have to always have another pose in the back of your head because the photographer wants a variety and that's what I didn't offer. on New Zealand's next top model. The girls have to shape up or ship out. Oh. And they find that trouble comes in twos. Terrible. <laughs> I have an obsession with dishes and I like them to be clean. Do the dishes, Frodo, you're on the She is mental. <laughs>